I'm Fiona Lovett, this is Philippa Page. We work for Flock Health Limited and we'd like to introduce you to our body condition scoring video. We have just weaned these ewes and it's cru now we're at the crucial time to look at what we've got in the flock and decide how, um, what body condition score we've got them in, thinking all the time about the next performance period and really that's starting at tupping time. So these ewes have been weaned um, and we can go through them. We've got a variety of body condition scores here and really simply just putting them into groups that are thin, fit and fat and then we can look at our grazing, look at our uh, avail grass availability and work out um, where, we, where, we, where we can prioritise which groups of sheep need the better grazing. So I'm just going to talk about fit, fat and thin ewes. Now we, we teach body condition scoring numerically and that's to get consistency from one farm to another but that is really to divide the ewes at weaning into fit, fat and thin. The reason we do it at weaning is because we need at least eight weeks to get everything right before tupping. So our fit ewes, they're already at the right body condition score. We need to maintain that from weaning through to tupping. Our real fatties, um, and there aren't often that many of those at weaning, but if they can go on some hard going and so they're back at the ideal body condition score for tupping, so much the better. But they need to be right a couple of weeks before tupping so that they can still be flushed. Our thin ewes are really important. Now this slide says it takes 45 days to, to gain one condition score. That totally depends on the quality of feed that those animals are given. Um, it can take up to 10 weeks easily if they're not on good, really good um, condition and really good going. And we have two categories of thin ewes. We have those that we call thin to tup, i.e. Um, you need to get that condition on those ewes. They need to be on good going so that by the time um, they want to be flushed, their body condition score at least a three. The first ewe you're about to see is not currently good enough and is unlikely to get right before tupping. Um, that's in the next video. But then you also have your thin ewes that are to be culled. Do not waste those thin ewes. Why don't you use them to find out why you've got thin ewes in the group? And that might mean getting a vet out to blood sample them for, for Mighty Visna or to take muck samples to look for Yoni's disease. Don't waste those thin ewes that you're going to have to cull, get them examined and work out what's going on. Okay, so when we are um, feeling body condition score, so we, we've, we put our hand flat on the top of the back, on the lower back here. So this is the lumbar region, so we've got the, the ribs ending here and we've got the start of the pelvis here. So we're putting our hands in that lumbar region. We can feel the spine, which is the spinous process here. And then we've got the short ribs, otherwise known as the transverse processes here. So what's really important, first of all, when we've got our hand on the back, is can we get our hands under the short ribs? So looking on either side here, can we get them under the short ribs? If we can, that is definitely not a three, it's less than a three, okay, if we can get them underneath. And then the second thing we feel is what do those, the ends of those short ribs feel like? How sharp are they? Can we easily feel them? So first of all, can we get our hands underneath the short ribs? If we can, it's less than a three. And if we can't, it's at least a three. And on this U, I can easily get them underneath there. And then secondly, what do the ends of these short ribs feel like? So I can feel the individual ribs here. They're sharp. Um, they're very easy to feel. And so this ewe is less than a two, easily less than a two there. She's probably more like one and a half. We're going to use a very simple system to work out body condition scoring. And we're going to use whole scores between one and five. And once we've got the whole number right by using this simple system, you can choose to use either half or even quarter scores if you would like, and that can make it easier. So once we've found the short ribs, we need to work out, can we put our fingers underneath those short ribs? And if we can, we can put our fingers underneath, feel the bone underneath the short ribs, then we know we are not a condition score three. We must be a one, one something, two, two and a half, say. If we can't put our fingers underneath the short ribs, but we can feel the bones at the end of those short ribs, then we are not a condition score four or above. So we must be a three or a three and a half, for example. 
If we can neither put our fingers underneath the short ribs or even feel the end of the short ribs, then we must be a condition score four or even five. So this year I've got my hand on her back. I am feeling the edge of the short ribs here to, to see if I can get underneath and I can. I can get underneath these short ribs easily and I can feel the bone underneath. So this U is not a three, she's less than a three. She's going to be less than a three. So once I've established that, I then want to feel the edges of the short ribs to see how easily I can feel them. And I, they're rounded, and I, but I can feel them easily. So this U is, is classed as a body condition score two. So I can get my hands right under and feel the bone, less than three, and I can feel the edges of the ribs, but they're not very sharp, so she's a two. Okay, so I'm gonna feel this U now in this lumbar region again. So I'm feeling the short ribs. So the first thing, can I get my hands underneath? Can I get my fingers underneath the short ribs? Which I can't do easily on this U. Um, so this U is, is going to be at least a three. So then I need to think, can I touch the bones on the side of these short ribs, which I can. So I can touch the bones, um, but I can't get my fingers underneath. So this U is a body condition score three. I've got my hand on her lower back. First thing I want to do is can I feel underneath these short ribs? I can't get under there easily. Um, I can't feel any of the bony structure under there. So she's definitely going to be a three at least because I can't get my hands underneath these short ribs. Then I'm going to feel the edges of the short ribs and I really can't feel them without applying some really tough pressure. And even then it's difficult to feel the individual bones. So this U here is going to be a body condition score four, at least a four. We can appreciate that some people might think we've concentrated too much here on the short ribs, on the horizontal processes, and we haven't talked so much about the vertical processes, the spine, the backbone, or muscle um, depth. Um, and that's a very good reason for that, is because I think looking at muscle depth in particular, it gets confused by the breed of the animal. So if we take whether the muscle is convex or concave, that is very different if you're considering, for example, a texel compared to a mule. Um, and the vertical process of the spine is similar. A mule can seem very prominent spine, and yet she's not actually that poor a condition, um, which we don't see that in the more continental breeds. So we never get muscle growing round the outside of the, spine, of the short ribs, the horizontal processes, and that's why I believe this method of body condition scoring is good across all different breeds. And once we've worked out a simple method such as this, and how we can body condition score, we can then take a blank um, table, such as I've put here on the slides, and we will send these out, and put a cross to work out um, which body condition score we've got across that range of U's in the group. And if you're using this cross system, and uh, you go through your group of U's, you put a cross for each time you come across the U for that body condition score, you end up with a picture like this at the end, and you can easily get a visual um, indication of the most common body condition score and the range in this group. So in this particular flock, we can see we've got quite a few that are two and below. Those thin U's we need to do something about. It may be that you prefer to use a tally system, and in which case you can have a table like this. I've allowed spaces here for putting quarter scores if, if you want to use them. And this is what an example flock might look like. As we we put in a dash for each U of that particular body condition score, When we after we've reached four and we want to put the fifth one in, we strike through and we can easily add up these um, scores at the bottom. So this is what we might end up with as we've tallied up the, at the bottom and we've got an idea of which number of views we've got in the different body condition scores and we can quickly see that we've got an, a number of views. So in this flock there are ten, eight or ten views that we need to pull out as thin views to do something different about um, before tapping. So just to finish, whatever breed of sheep you've got, I really would encourage you to get out there, put your hands on the back of them, individual sheep, and write down what body condition score you've got in that group. And if you do that before tupping and get them in the right condition, you will set yourself up so much better for all of pregnancy and you're um, destined to have a better crop of lambs um, at the end of it. Um, if you need to get a hold of us, we're at www.flockhealth.co.uk.